Hey, Matt here from Beverage Tractor. And recently we've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of interest in the quick hitch systems. So if you're not familiar with the quick hitch, basically it's an implement that hooks up to your tractor's three point hitch arms that allows you to more accurately and quickly hook up implements. So of course here at Beverage Tractor, we are a Kubota and Land Pride dealer. So we're gonna look at the Land Pride quick hitch system that hooks up to the Land Pride implements. Land Pride makes several different quick hitches that hooks up to different tractors. So like a BX or a B series tractor is really gonna be a QH05. The QH10 and the QH15 are category one quick hitch systems. The QH20 and the QH30 are for category two and category three implements. We're gonna look directly at the QH15 today. I kinda wanna answer a few questions that we've had recently, which is, is the quick hitch system worth it for me? Which quick hitch system will match up to my tractor? And how do I hook the quick hitch system up to my implements? and there's different implements that hook up differently. So we're just gonna take a look at a few of those questions today, show you how to hook it up and do a quick review. Now, as you can see, and you can imagine, the quick hitch is really, really easy to hook up to the tractor. It hooks up just like any other implement. You're gonna hook up your two bottom arms with the pins and also the top link with the pin that's given here as well. So simple and easy to hook up to your tractor. One thing that is specific to the QH15 that I really like is it has an adjustable top hook which gives this quick hitch a lot of versatility. So if you've got different implements to hook up, you really want this thing and your implement to sit down into the hooks, into the groove. So if it's not sitting down in there very well, you've got the ability to adjust the top hook to make it sit properly. Right now I've got this hook set up according to Land Pride uh, in the position for category one implements. So any category one implement like your box blades, your rakes, your rear blades, this is gonna hook up perfectly to it and everything's gonna sit properly where it needs to. Also with the QH15 that I really like is an option that you can get is the floating top pieces. So it's a floating top link that also goes with this where you hook it up. So if you've got a finish mower specifically, that's one that we see often. And when we sell a quick hitch, we'll get a phone call pretty soon after, hey, how do I hook this up to my finish mower? And what you gotta have is you have to have that floating top link piece. And I'll do another video on a step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually hook that up as well. Uh, it it's, can be kind of confusing, but easy once you've done it a couple of times. But that's one cool thing about this one as well is you can actually hook up the float pieces too. So now that we got it hooked to the tractor, let's take a look at the implement. So now that you have the quick hitch system connected to the tractor, it's time to make sure that your implements that you have are ready to take on the quick hitch. So one thing that they actually give you on the QH15 is a sleeve. And this specific sleeve is designed to go onto the implements bottom links on both sides and what it does is it when it sets down into the hook of the, the bottom links of your tractor on the quick hitch it takes away from the slops it's not going to shake and vibrate can't bounce out any of that so it really just sets in there really really well so you definitely want to make sure that that sleeve is on there and in place and so one of the questions that we get all the time is i've got the quick hitch system for my tractor but i don't have say a land pride implement will my other implements that aren't land pride also hook up to the quick hitch. One thing obviously is to make sure that you have the correct quick hitch to go to the implement that you have, whether it be category one or category two and so forth. But one of the biggest things that I have seen on some implements that the way that they're designed, um, some really some aftermarket implements or even some of your cheaper implements, when they have the bar that kind of goes up from the bottom of the implement to the top of the three point hitch, there's nothing there for the hook on the quick hitch to actually hook to. So, if it honestly if it doesn't have this pin specifically or any openness for the hook on the quick hitch to kind of go up and really latch onto the implement to be able to lift it up and off the ground the answer to your question really is no let's take a second here and let's actually hook this thing up and see how easy and how quick it is to actually take the quick hitch system on the tractor and hook it up to the implement so now we're ready to hook the quick hitch up to our box blade here and really you're going to line it up and a lot of times i'll leave the handles down so that I can hear it lock into place and then you'll see this top pin really set in here really well. Uh, when you go to take the unit off, you'll lift both of these up, allowing this to come out and drop the three point hitch arms. So let's put this thing on. So we're lined up, we're good to go. Three point hitch is down, so we're gonna back up. Don't wanna go too far like I just did and then pick 
pick up. And you'll hear it lock into place and you can see that everything's ready to go and you're ready to go out and start doing some work. Now, if you're gonna unhook the quick hitch, Land Pride and a bunch of other companies will tell you that it's okay to do it from the seat, which it is. Uh, if you've got a little bit longer arms and can pull up on these really hard. Some of your smaller ones, like your QH05, is a matter of just a little lever that you can really easily get from the seat. For me personally, it's a lot easier for me to get off the tractor, come back here and pull up on both of the top levers that allows that piece that attaches on the bottom of the quick hitch, the clevis, that to open itself up to be able to really take it off, which I can now take the implement off of the tractor and then go on to my next implement. So that is the Land Pride QH15 that we specifically went over today, but that is the quick hitch system in general. Showing you how to hook it up uh, to the tractor and then also to the implement. I really hope that helped out and give a better description of it. So one question that we get often in that regard too is really, is the quick hitch system worth it? And my personal opinion and honest opinion really is if you've got a lot of implements that you're hooking up to, like if you're gonna switch from a box blade and a rear blade or rake or whatever, yeah, absolutely. I think the quick hitch would really, really, really benefit you. If you're the person that has like one or two implements and you hook up occasionally and you really just don't use it that often, but you might hook up the bush hog two or three times a year, this might not necessarily completely benefit you unless you just have that real struggle of really trying to get the three-point hitch hook hooked up to your implement. Now you do occasionally have to still get off the tractor, come back here and maybe adjust the implement or a few different things to really get it to set down in this really well, but it is nothing in comparison to the kicking and uh, all the above on trying to actually get the three point hitch arms to occasionally that doesn't hook up well to cutters or other implements. So this definitely helps with that. I really hope this video gave you a little bit of direction and helped determine is the quick hitch worth it? How do you hook it up? Does it hook up to other implements other than Land Pride as well? Uh, if, if you really like this video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well for more videos like this, especially as they come out, hit the bell button. But if we can help you with anything here at Beverage Tractor, if you're in the market for a new tractor, zero turn, implements, anything like that, maybe even a quick hitch, give us a call here at 540-337-1090 or come on by. We're located in Stewart Draft, 2085 Stewart Draft, Virginia. Also, we just opened up our Blacksburg store that should be getting up and running really, really well here soon. Uh, so you can check us out there and go to our website, www.beveragetractor.com, and you'll see a, a lot more information about our Blacksburg store, hours, the location where it's at, and the phone number there as well. So if we can help, please give us a call, and we look forward to seeing you soon.